nobody really gives a fuck. They call news the stupidest thing now. Like, stupid shit is becoming the main topic. Like... Mm -hmm. What's up, YouTube? It's me, Lewis, back with another YouTube video. And today, it's just a day. You know, it's Monday, um, July 29th. And I just wanted to ask and know something, like a question. Like, I want to know, is everybody seeing what's going on with the news lately? Or news lately? Um, not really. No, I'm not talking about news, like, news news on the TV like the shit that people are putting out like these blogs and these YouTube popular big audience YouTube channels now I don't have a big audience at all but it's it came to my attention like okay these very popular um, Instagram pages and blogs and YouTube um, creators or whatever put out the stupidest shit and call it news like okay Cardi B just did a, um, just had a, went live, what was that, Saturday morning, talking about how she really thinks that Trump could be in office again, and nobody's really paying attention to it. Cardi B put that out on Saturday, talking about how she thinks Trump could be going, like, he could be president in 2020, like, he could be reelected, and this shit could be, like, real fucked up, and it's like nobody really gives a fuck because... Nobody really gives a fuck. They call news the stupidest thing now. Like, stupid shit is becoming the main topic. Like, and people make little shit the biggest, like, the littlest things so big. I always ask, like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Like, is that really news? Like, Hollywood Unlocked, The Shade Room, um, these YouTubers, Cameron, and all this other bullshit. Like... Motherfuckers talk about, oh, Beyonce has a slit in her dress, and that's, like, breaking news, breaking the internet. That is not news. Um, Kylie Jenner isn't talking to, isn't talking to, what's that girl name? Jordan Woods anymore, because she cheated. Bitch, everybody gets cheated on. You knew she was a hoe in the first place. Like, this shit is becoming so stupid to me, and it's, I always comment on the day, shit like, this is not fucking news. Like, this is just stupid bullshit that happens to everyday people but they have money and they know their name is known and it's news because of that those reasons that's not news that's bullshit that everybody deals with every day so cardi b put this thing out talking about how she thinks about how she thinks trump's gonna be president i don't see nobody talking about that i don't see no blogs no youtubers youtubers are talking about the dumbest shit what they talking about they talking about Nicki minaj and megan astalia however you pronounce pronounce her name they talking about this bullshit that that she was on live with Nicki Minaj they calling people are calling these two female rappers going on live congratulating each other iconic how in the fuck is that iconic because two girls two women rap two females in the rap industry um congratulating Pretty much Megan Thee Stallion kissing Nicki Minaj ass to me. That's what it seemed like. But how is that iconic? Like, like what the fuck? How is that? How is that iconic? That's what I want to know. But yet Cardi B is talking about how she thinks Trump. I was waiting on month. I was waiting like Saturday. I was like, okay, this gonna be in. Um, like these little, you know, people do like these little hot topic things now. Everybody's that's becoming a trend now. Everybody's doing these hot topic things in the morning. I was like, okay, I want to see how many people are going to talk about this. Nobody. Nobody's talking. I haven't seen it yet. And it's what? It's now 5 o'clock on Monday. And nobody has talked about it. I mean, I. this is like the, the bullshit that's going on, like becoming very, I guess you want to say breaking the internet. But this shit has become so annoying. And it's so stupid that we, I'm not going to say, I'm not doing the shit too. We paying attention to the wrong shit. Like, you have to understand, people talk shit about Cardi B, but yet Cardi B is out here trying to advocate people about this motherfucker Trump, who could become president again next year. And I don't see, why wouldn't he? Motherfuckers only point, like he uses, like Cardi B said, 
he uses the tweets, the, the bullshit tweets that he used to distract people from all the shit that he's really doing and that he's really trying to put in place. So he goes on Twitter and he puts bullshit out. And the people that's feeding into it are these, you know, blogs with millions of followers, YouTubers, YouTubers with millions of followers, and nobody's talking about, oh, the people that are trying to, like, talk about it and, you know, put Trump ass in his place or, like, like really try to show motherfuckers why they shouldn't vote for this motherfucker, they're not saying shit. Like, Hollywood, uh, again, Hollywood unlock, unlock, put on their YouTube, their Instagram channel, put the dumbest shit up. Like, they... They put the dumbest shit up when they can reach millions of people. White person running that page, black person running that page. But if you're going to tweet about Trump and how you say you don't like him or dislike him, why aren't you like, you know, like, what the fuck? It's not like this is not all of a sudden. Like, I've been thinking like E! News, E! News, they talk about the most dumbest shit now. Like, like what the fuck? Like, black people are getting killed by police's every two seconds now. It, it seems like it's becoming normal. It's becoming a thing now. Racism is like, it's okay now. It's become, it to me, it's beginning to be okay now. Like, it's okay now. Like, oh, okay. That's like, almost becoming normal. Like, oh, it happened yesterday, so, what do you want to do, what do you, what do you want us to do about it? Like, that shit is like, and it's crazy because, don't say shit. All I see is Rihanna and Cardi B speaking up. Them the only, as far as Celebrity Hop and Charlamagne, these are the only three people I really see actually like fighting against the bullshit that he's doing. And it's like we as people, black folks, we need to get our shit together. Like pay, paying attention to this bullshit ass Kylie Jenner, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B twisting her ass. But when it comes to Cardi B speaking real shit. That's what we need to pay attention to when it comes to these artists speaking real shit about, like, shit that could fuck up everything. Like, Cardi B said, okay, Cardi B said, if Trump, does, okay, she really, like, she really, really thinks Trump's going to be president. And me, too. Like, why wouldn't he? How the fuck did he end up in office in the first place? And he's doing so much illegal shit. How is he not out of office already? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if his ass was um, the president again in 2020, right, re-elected. That shit would be fucked up. Like, that would be fucked up. But you got to think about it. What if he's re-elected, his four years over with, and then we get another Republican that thinks exactly like him? Then what? Like, he's already... Now, I'm not trying to say I got it or... Like, I have... Like, and, and the people, like Cardi B said, motherfuckers vote with their feelings. Like, they really, really, really vote with their feelings. Like, racist people vote with their feelings. And it could be the brokest, the poorest, the, the homeless, the brokest people that's are, that are, like, they racist. But yet you have nothing and you're relying on government, like, link card, Section 8, welfare, health care. You rely all on that. But yet... You will vote for Trump still as opposed to, okay, I need this. And I see somebody trying to fight for that. And I see somebody wants to help me as me struggling as opposed to this motherfucker with millions of dollars that just, that just don't give a fuck about me at all. And you will vote for a motherfucker that, willing, that is willing to take that away from you. Like Trump don't give a fuck about nobody. He will take all that shit. Like Link Hart, people is thinking that like, the people make memes about it. But when that shit get cuts off, the world is going to be fucked up. It's going to get way worse. You thought it was killing people. I really believe people are going to start killing over food now. If he takes, I think it's going to get so much worse. I really, I don't, people could call me crazy all they want. It will get worse if this motherfucker becomes president again. Like, again, he already doing dumb shit. Stupid shit, but give him four more years to do even dumb shit, more dumb shit. This shit will be like, and it's like, motherfuckers need to understand. He don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. Racist people not all like, okay. Like, it's supposed to me like, okay, voting for 
voting for the, a person that actually does care. You want to use your feeling, like Cardi B said, you will use your feelings to vote for a motherfucker that don't care because the color of the color of somebody's skin. Hmm. Don't make sense. Don't it don't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. You got dumb shit out here trading hot girl summer, hot boy summer. What the fuck is that anyway? Like, what? What is that? Like that shit is so stupid. We as people pay attention to the most dumbest shit now. Like, Black History Month is going under the like where what happened to that? Black History Month is gone. No more Black History Month. Yes, it is February, Black History Month, but we don't celebrate it like we used to in school. And I know, I'm pretty sure, everybody knows that. It's like, oh, okay, Black History Month. <laughs> February, we're going to make one post. Crazy. It's crazy. It is crazy. Like, like the people that fought for all our freedoms, like they used to. Who? What? Motherfuckers don't. School ain't teaching kids that no more. I'm pretty sure they ain't. But it's like, we need to get our shit together. Like, at this point, black folks, look out for one each, one another. Stop killing each other. Help each other. Like, I really, honestly, I'm not just talking shit. I try to help everybody and anybody I can. I might... I'm telling you, I try to help everybody. And if I see you really need it, I don't give a fuck if I, I don't like you. I could even say I hate you. I don't give a fuck how, how much I don't like you, dislike you, dis, whatever. If you need help, I will help anybody. But we as black people need to get this shit together. Because at the end of the day, if Trump don't give a fuck about us and we killing each other, then what's going to happen? They gonna start killing us even more. Like white folks, the racist folks, like, and it's like it's almost becoming, it's almost becoming crazy. Black folks killing black folks. White folks killing black folks. Why? It's, it's like what the fuck? Like why? Like over over a block over a. Uh, over a gang, uh, what? Why? It's just some that you didn't make. Oh, it's just crazy. It is honestly crazy. And I need y'all to share this video to all y'all friends. And I need they them to share it. And I need everybody to share this video. We as black people, I could go on and on in this video, but we need to get our shit together. And we definitely go vote. Go vote. We need to once it's time. Get your ass out there and we're gonna go vote and we're gonna make sure we gonna make sure we get this motherfucker up out of here. Because we go vote. Just go vote. Get this motherfucker out. Let's let's stick together, black folks. It shouldn't have to be no tragic ass thing happen for us to come together. That shit is so stupid now. Something tragic, like very tragic, has to happen for black folks to come together. It's crazy. We need to stick together. Nobody gives a fuck about black folks. Not even black folks. Because y'all killing each other. I'm going to try to limit the editing on this video. But this this is like... This is me when I need something, you know? But black folks, stick together. I can't... Come on now. It, I don't know what else to say. But black folks, stick together. Stick together. Stick together. That's all I can say. But I can go on in this video. I can go on. But I'm going to end this video right here. And I need y'all to share this video. Like to everybody you know. Like this video. Comment down below. And let's get somebody to see this video. This video should go viral. Because the bullshit that's going viral does it like videos like this should go viral let me just say that like i'm not saying make my video go viral no but videos like this should go viral at this time of at this time of crisis bullshit with him in the, with him in the office this all videos like this should go viral 
Oh, I'm moving my hands too much. But no, honestly, share this video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll see, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.